Fortnite Squad. Fortnite skin face reveal. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. Quality meme. Quality. Top notch. What's, What's up, up people who watch Forlore? It's your boy, Banana Jugger here, and today we're gonna be talking about the new <laughs> the new respawn van. And not only that, guys, but we're gonna be talking about a whole bunch of other things. I'm also gonna discuss why I'm in a banana suit. Basically, it's National Banana Day, and I just wanted to dress up for the occasion, I guess. Also, if you don't leave a like on this video, my banana powers will increase by tenfold. Let's do this, bananas. Okay, so this is the glider for one of the Save the World founder skins, and this is the pickaxe for, you know, the Rose team leader and the, the skull guy. I don't know what his name is, but uh, the event, Buccaneer's Bounty, a Lux stage? What What is it? No ponytail? Okay, there's no ponytail. Miscellaneous wrap for, you know, items like the bow. The minigun and the RPG, I assume, would be in this as well. So, uh, they now have wraps. And of course, there is a respawn van, which pretty much self-explanatory. All you gotta do, get their card, bring it to a van, and with their back. Okay, that's pretty much about it. I don't think I really need to elaborate on that. Except that you respawn with 100 health, 100 wood, and a pistol with 36 ammo. And you have 90 seconds to get the reboot card to a van, or you just can't respond your friend, and that's about that. Here's a better look at the ruined skin. Obviously, they already kind of leaked it themselves. They showed the teasers of it, and here's a clear picture of its back bling, of course, as well. Planes may be making a return because every leaker and their mother has tweeted out that one of the challenges in week eight dates to destroy by planes. Of course, this meaning, <laughs> That planes will be back for week eight hopefully not hopefully not i don't think they would actually bring back planes i think but according to what are the challenges in week eight it suggests that they might return i kind of just assume it's an ltm of the sort one like equals one not epic aims adding planes okay so here's the current location of the helicopter is that loot lake so that is one of the map changes eh it's here the block has been updated created by Root is, I probably pronounced that incorrectly, as techie sunny steps theme going on here. You just go in right through the middle, right? And here is the legendary chest. Just right on the throne room. Which this throne is triggering me because it doesn't fit the surrounding. Ah, yes, 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 of course. Tomato Town has returned. In retail. <laughs> the burger head's not back, but the tomato head is returned. To its normal state let's go inside let me turn this down would you slow it down and it looks similar very similar to the original tomato which hasn't been in the game in like five seasons or something like that but yeah it looks very similar a bit bigger though um what oh my gosh no no patrasha that's patrasha yeah what are you doing? Can rocks swim in lava? What the heck? They could have just went around. Why are they doing this? Poor Patrock. All aspect ratios will now have the same vertical FOV on Mac and PC. And in the near future, probably the next update, ultra wide monitors will be limited to 16 by nine in competitive game mode. So pretty much stretched is coming to an end in competitive game modes. So you saw it coming. And this one I really like, adjusted how storm damage is applied so that players entering the storm will now have a set amount of time. It'll be one second before damage is applied. Basically, you'll start taking damage after one entire second, right? And I think that's a better change. All right, so the excavation site at Loot Lake has actually been finished. Everyone has destroyed all the rocks or the gravel or whatever it is inside of the excavation site. And it has uncovered, if you haven't seen this already, a bunker, a metal bigger than the other two bunkers, you know, the one in Wailing and the one in, you know, the Frosty World. Of course, it's a bigger bunker, but you can't open it, and it's gonna open, and no one really knows what's inside. It's probably gonna be the Discovery skin, I guess, is inside the bunker. I don't know why he would be chilling in there, but okay. Um, people are theorizing it could be the cube, it could be... who knows? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Who knows? What could it be? What do you think is under this bunker? I think it's just the Discovery skin, but... We will find out. Something to actually add on is I actually just found this Reddit post. Am I the only one who remembers this? This might be what the sound in Loot Lake Dig site is. 
And if we play it, we could see it's the drip from the cube in its final event, the butterfly event. It actually dripped whatever that was, right? So possibly maybe the cube is regenerating and has been underneath Loot Lake. Or maybe Ruin, the Discovery Skin, the name of the Discovery Skin, of course, is what it dripped. So yeah, not really sure. It could be any any of these theories. It could be anything. Just as an update to that, uh, apparently they filled it up with uh, this gravelly rock stuff again. I don't know why. I don't know if it's a mistake or something, but don't worry. People are currently whacking it. In and it's going to be uncovered again. I, I don't know. And to be honest, I think it's going to have to do it for the Fort Lord today. Of course, if you enjoyed watching, again, leave a like. You can subscribe if you would like to. And that would be about it. Uh, have a good day, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.